distance, speed, pitch, all part of getting the bowl to the jack in the sport of lawn bowling. It's a game in which you'd think being able to see the target is key. But here at the Qualicum Beach Lawn Bowling Club, Nanaimo's Randy Fred proves otherwise. Okay, what's the distance? 28. Okay. I'd love to be the world championship lawn yeah. bowler because it's so satisfying, right? Just a simple affirmation, right? And then when I'm throwing, like I actually can see the jack, even though I can't see it in my mind, I can see it. Like I know where it is, right? Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I visualize every shot and it, and it makes a huge difference. Randy has visualized his way to becoming a national champion in the world of visually impaired lawn bowling. And yes, the affirmations help, but it's strategy too. A former coach made a diagram for Randy to feel what the green looks like. I learned my throw, which is kind of unique. You know, I crouch down and I put my left hand in front of me. I aim at my fingertips and my coach, Don Sherry, tells me left or right because he knows in relationship to the twine, like how far out my ball should go, right? Right. Because as it's going up, when it starts slowing down, it curls in. So that's, that's where the real challenge lies. With the years of practice, he's supposed to know the difference between how much effort for a 23 or a 25 or a 30 meter throw. So he has to know that. I have to try to figure out where he needs to aim to get the ball there. So you're three, you're a meter at four. If he hits my target with the right speed, we've made a good shot. We can both foul it up or we can both do well. Teachers thought Randy was clumsy as a child, but in his late teens, he was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa, which until then had been thought only to affect women with diabetes. The vision he knew as a child was eventually replaced with a shade of green. Dull, dull, dull green. It's all the exposure from the lawn bowling. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, wait, no, 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 I can't see it because it's, it, it, uh, lawn bowling is exciting. It should have been a pretty green, right? But, but this is a dull green. <laughs> but I used to see um, like a grid and each little cell had a, like a gel cap that fluttered at a different speed, right? And it was a real distraction. Randy is training here in Qualicum Beach with another champion bowler, Dave Ruckman. Dave can see more than Randy can, but is far from fully sighted. They compete in different categories that are based on the degree of vision that you have. Dave had a blood flow disorder in 2010 and lost most of his vision in just three days. At 100 feet, I see about the size of a basketball, and that's why it works for me in lawn bowling is that I can see the other end, I can see the jack. Now it is only with one eye, and I can see a target down there, but I can't see them both at the same time. And that's where Dean Thompson comes in, Dave's director. He's able to, to focus on one item. So he can focus on the, the jack, for instance, but he can't see the, the bowls around it. So my job is to figure out how he can bowl and get in to where he needs to be. So I guess you call me the strategist. <laughs> and together, these four, with the support of Bowls Canada, are strategizing to raise money to compete at the World Championships for Disabled Athletes in New Zealand in mid-February. Both Dave and Randy are part of the Nanaimo Lawn Bowling Club's program for blind and visually impaired people who want to learn the sport of lawn bowling. It's been running since 1983 and is one of the most successful in Canada. Their campaign is called Journey Down Under. For more information and to donate, visit www.nanaimolawnbowling.com. For me, it's a chance in a lifetime. In Qualicum Beach, I'm Kate Bergen.